Welcome to Michiko Studios. I'm rehearsing for a big show that I'm doing on December 2nd at the brand new, really gorgeous, beautiful 54 Below. It's to celebrate a CD that I'm coming out with on the yellow sound label entitled I'll Cover You, and the official release will be on December 4th. Live in my house. Shelter, just pay me back with one thousand kisses. My friends at Yellow Sound and I decided to entitle this album I'll Cover You for two reasons. One, I'll Cover You is my favorite Broadway love song. And um, also, we wanted to do an album of cover tunes. I think that we all have soundtracks to our lives. And in a lot of ways, the songs that are on this album were kind of soundtracks to my life. There's a Madonna song on there. And as an 80s kid, Madonna was a big part of the 80s. I grew up, like a lot of traditional Chinese kids, taking piano lessons. And so I fell in love with all of those musicians that um, play the piano like Stevie Wonder, so there's a one, there's a Stevie Wonder cover on there. Just pay me back with one thousand kisses. Mm -hmm. Be my lover, and I love you. So I knew that I wanted to include something from Rent on the album. Jonathan Larson's music has a particular way of making you smile and making you cry at the same time. The song I'll Cover You is a song that I got to sing eight times a week on Broadway, and I think that song definitely does that. Oh, love, I'll cover you. Our goal was to make you hear the song again, but also to keep the essence of what the song was about. Let's do Parade Passes By. All right. B major, yay. I like B major. Starts in D. We wanted to create a unique sound for the album that didn't sound like every other theater album or every other Broadway album. We wanted to kind of create something that had a bit of a jazz feel, but also had a bit of a Broadway feel, but also had a bit of a pop feel. And we said, you know what? I think we can achieve that cool fusion with a jazz trio and a string quartet. The first time I heard Before the Parade Passes By was actually the day that I took the SATs. And as a reward to myself for taking the SATs, I decided to go to the TKTS booth and spend all this money that I saved to get a half price ticket to a Broadway show. And the Broadway show that I went to go see that day was Carol Channing and the revival of Hello Dolly at the Lot Fontaine Theatre. It was kind of a life-changing moment. It was, I felt like Carol Channing was singing right to me, and, you know, kind of telling me that before the parade passes you by, you have to do what you want to do in life. And even though your parents might have other dreams for you and don't want you to be a starving artist or an actor who's struggling. With the rest of them, with the best of them. I have to do what I love to do. And that includes performing on stage and acting and being on Broadway and now making an album. You know, um, this album was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And we, we all poured our heart and soul into it, but that's why we do what we do. That's the work worth doing.